In this problem, we're told a 0 0.060 kilogram tennis ball moving with a speed of 4.5 meters per second has a head-on collision with a 0 0.090 kilogram ball initially moving in the same direction at a speed of 3 meters per second. Assuming a perfectly elastic collision, determine the speed and direction of each ball after the collision. So in order to solve problems like these, there's two formulas you need to know that have to deal with uh, conservation of momentum. So essentially, these formulas are going to be, let me write them out. So we have M1, which is just uh, the mass of your first object. In this case, we're having uh, two tennis balls, right? And so M1V1 plus M2V2 is equal to M1V1 final plus M2V2 final. So essentially, you have M1V1, uh, which is the mass of your first ball times the velocity of your first ball plus the mass of your second ball times the velocity of your second ball is equal to mass of your first ball times the final velocity of your first ball plus the mass of the second ball times the final velocity of your second ball. So this is going to be, uh, this is your first formula, but since there's going to be two uh, unknown variables, you have to have two different formulas. So the other formula is going to be V1 minus V2 is equal to minus V1 final minus V2 final. So essentially this is going to be your other formula. And so, uh, yeah, these are your two formulas. And so before we solve, what we want to do is write down the given. So let's write down our given. So we want to just basically write down every single variable here. So write down every variable in the equation. So M1, M2, V1, V2, uh, V1 final, V2 final. So writing down each of our variables, it just makes it easier to solve. So think about M1. So I'm going to call it M1. You can pick what you want, but M1 is going to be the 0 0.06 zero kilogram tennis ball in my problem so 0 0.060 kilograms is m1 and then we know the velocity of our first ball is moving with a speed of 4.5 meters per second so v1 is 4.5 meters per second now let's do the next ball so the next ball is going to have a head-on collision with a 0 0.090 kilogram ball so this is our second ball and it's moving in the same direction at three meters per second uh, if they're moving in different directions, you'd have to make one negative, but uh, they're moving in the same direction, so they're both positive in this case. And so, assuming a perfectly elastic collision, determine the speed and direction of each ball after the collision. So essentially what we're trying to do is solve for these two different variables here, because uh, that's what they want us to solve for, right? So uh, we're trying to find the final, right? So at the end, so we need the speed and direction of each of these. And so the way we're going to solve that is by using these equations. So what you should notice here is that we're trying to solve for V1 final and V2 final. And the way we're going to do that is by taking this equation, because we're going to use the top equation to solve, but notice how we don't have V1 or V2. We need at least one of them, or we need to replace it in terms of uh, the other, uh, other variable. So essentially what we're going to do is manipulate this equation right here and solve for one of these variables. And I, in this case, I'm going to choose um, V2 final. And then we're just going to replace it, and it's going to allow us to solve for V1 uh, final. And so... The way we're going to do that is by manipulating this equation first. So if we just move the minus sign, right, we're just minusing both of these. It's going to be minus V1 final, and then it's going to become plus V2 final. And so I'm going to solve this for V2 final. So we're going to say V2 final. I'm just going to add this to the other side, right, just adding it. So V1 final plus V1 minus V2. So this right here, what you should notice is now we have, we have V1, we have V2, and now it's going to be in terms of V1 final. So if we plug this in, the only variable we're missing is V1 final, and we're going to be able to solve. So if we go ahead and plug this in, I'm going to just going to plug this in here. So rewriting it, you're going to get M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 final plus M2. And then it's going to be multiplied by V1 final plus, or yeah, V1 final plus V1 minus V2. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and expand this, so multiply each term out. So if we go ahead and do that, uh, it's going to become M2 times V1 final plus M2 times V1. So M2 times V1, and then it's going to be minus M2 times V2. So what you should notice is, right, we just multiply this out, so M2 times V1 final times V1, and then it's negative because this is minus V2. So essentially this right here is going to be our equation and we just got to plug in the variables and we're going to be able to solve for uh, v1 final because that's the only variable we're missing in this equation so plugging in m1 we know is 0 0.060 multiplying that by the velocity of the first one which is 4.5 plus m2 which is 0 0.09 0 and then v2 is 3 
And so this is going to be equal to m1, which is 0 0.06 multiplied by v1 final, which we don't know, plus m2, which is 0 0.09, and then that's multiplied by, so we just did this, right? That's that. And so, uh, yeah, so we had 0 0.06, sorry, I got lost, uh, 0 0.06 times m1, uh, and then v1 final, so m2, which is 0 0.09, times v1 final and then it's going to be plus m2 which is 0 0.09 and then multiply that by v1 which is 4.5 and then it's going to be minus uh, 0 0.09 which is m2 multiply that by v2 which is 3. So let's go ahead and plug these numbers in our calculator. So we're going to have 0, 0.0, so I'm just going to multiply these out. So 0 0.0, 0 0.06, and then we multiply that by 4.5. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 0.27. So this is 0.27. Then let's add it to this. So we're just simplifying at this point. So 0 0.09, multiply that by 3, 0.27 again. So this is just going to be 0.54. So we have 0.54. Let's set it equal to this side. So this has a variable, so we have to leave it. So 0 0.06 V1F plus 0 0.09 V1F plus, let's do this right here, so 0 0.09 times 4.5. That's going to be 0 0.405. And then right here, so minus 0 0.09 times 3, 0.27. So if you do that 0 0.405, minus 0.27 you're gonna get point so this just combines to 0 0.135 so plus 0 0.135 and so what we're gonna do is just minus this to the other side and then we're gonna combine like terms so 0 0.54 minus 0 0.135 so 0 0.54 minus you're gonna get that equals 0 0.405 so this is gonna be equal to 0 0.06 v1f plus 0 0.09 V1F, and what you should notice these are like terms we can combine. So 0 0.06 plus 0 0.09 is just going to be 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 V1F. So 0 0.15, yeah, 0 0.15 V1F. And then if we divide both sides by 0 0.15, so go ahead and do that. Divide both sides by 0 0.15. You're going to get that V1F is equal to 2.7 meters per second. So this right here is going to be the first one, right? So 2.7 meters per second. That's going to be the speed of the first ball. Now what we want to do is find the speed of the second ball. So we know V1F. And so what you should notice is, remember this equation right here? We have V1F now. What we can do is just plug in V1 and minus V2, and we're going to get V2F. So let's go ahead and do that. So V2F is going to be equal to V1F, which is 2.7 uh, plus V1. So V1 is... 4.5, and then minus V2, which is 3. So if you go ahead and do this, 2.7 plus 4.5 minus 3, you're going to get that it equals 4.2. So V2F is going to be equal to 4.2 meters per second. So let's write that down right here. So 4.2 meters per second. So this is going to be both the speeds and then the direction of the balls, they're going to be going in the same direction. Notice because they're the same, there's no minus, right? If that would indicate direction, uh, in this case, they're both positive. So they're both going to be traveling in the same direction. But yeah, so these right here are going to be your speed. So we have 2.7 meters per second for your first one, and then 4.2 meters per second for your second one. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.